headshot. Perfect. <laughs> and the chubby girl you herself. Look, you look beautiful. Thank you. I was going to do the diet that a lot of people do, you know, crystal meth. Yeah. <laughs> but no one looks pretty without teeth. Just say no to drugs. Everyone say, I will not do drugs. I will, I will not do drugs. Now make some noise for yourselves because you are at New York City Pride Rally. Yes. And it is a good time to be gay in New York. Just vote being legal in New York. Won't that be amazing? It's about freaking time, too. I know. It's going to be so fun. I have a lesbian husband, you know. Yeah, I do. A lesbian. <laughs> a husband? I know. Well, that, too. I was going to I was gonna do the whole marriage thing, but we think it's a little gay. But, shit, if I can get health benefits and stop going to Ireland for a mammogram, I'm in. <laughs> Hi, Brandon. How are you? This is who or do we have here? If this is your first pride, make some noise. and then being like in 20 years, we're going to be part of your story. It's all about us, Yeah. but that's the fantasy. <laughs> so if you're single, raise your hand again. Just raise your hand. Now take a look around, exactly. everybody. Exactly. Look around. Hottie, toddies, tops, bottoms, verses, bitches, transgender. We believe in love, and we want it to happen today. Let's so. figure out who we have here a little bit, okay? If you are a, let's see, if you are a straight woman, give me a hoo hoo. Oh, thank you. The hills are alive. Okay, with straight women. Thank you, straight allies. We love that you're here. If you are a straight man, give me a aha. Uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. God love you guys. Good for you. Let's get the guys some beer right up front. Get them parking for their truck. The lesbians got it first every single time. If you are a lesbian, give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Holy softball. We're all here. Ross, they steal the show every give time. Give me a hello. If you, there you go. Give Ross a hello. hello. Oh, good. Good. Now give me a recola. <laughs> Look at that one over there has been drinking. He just said E. coli. <laughs> By the way, if you're not drinking yet, what are you waiting for? I know that there's food, there's yes. some drinks, and we're going to be Three hours, we're going to be up here hanging with you guys. We have some of the most incredible artists you're going to see. Speakers, it's going to be a great day. We're Thank you for coming out here. Give yourselves a round of applause. I just want to do roll call because there's a few people I didn't get there. If you are in, if you are bisexual, give me a oh, yes, yeah. I am. Paula. Good for you. Thank you, sister, over on the side. It's so funny, bisexual and on the fence. Funny. Anyway, <laughs> if you are transgender, give me a hey. round of applause. Woo! That's awesome. And we have interpreters here, too. Yeah, right over here. Hi. Hi. And look at all the new people coming in. Good. This is going to be filled up in just a second. This is awesome. I love making interpreters say really crazy words, like Christina O'Leary loves ice cream and Ross Matthews doesn't eat it anymore. Doesn't freaking eat it anymore. Look at Ross, so skinny, and she's still chubby because she eats ice cream and he doesn't eat it anymore. Ooh, what was that? What was that? What did that mean? I know. Put your tongue out and licked it. Like I that. thought it was lesbian, but anyway. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just kidding. It's a family show. Are you ready for some pride? Wait, can I just know what word yes. that was? What word was that? Ice cream. So what? Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice what cream. is it? Ice cream. <laughs> I, I, that's the word of the day. I'm going to say about 400 times. Ice, ice cream. cream. Ice cream. Hold on, ready? What about this one, Ross? Ready? Lesbian ice cream. <laughs> lesbian ice cream. Lesbian ice cream. Here's gonna be my favorite, ready? Lipstick. Lesbian ice cream. One more time, what is it? Lipstick. Lesbian. Are you serious? You have to touch your mouth to say lesbian. That is hysterical. I feel so stereotyped and perfectly fine. Okay. So what is it again? Lipstick. Lesbian ice cream. Okay, everybody. Listen, if you're trying to get extra at the ice cream stand, that's the secret code right there. Okay, everybody, we are your co-hosts, the one, the only Ross, the intern, Ross Matthews. Yep. And myself, Christine O'Leary, we are so excited that we are here with 
with you. It's a wicked, wicked big deal. You ready to have some fun and get this prize started? Now, but you have to be nicer to each other than everyone else. Sunscreen. You can share your blanket, Mr. Straight Guy, with the sticker on his left nipple. <laughs> You're straight, sir? You're a straight man? Is You're this, a straight back You're there. from Iceland? Okay, I heard I'm from Iceland, and I thought, wow, well, okay, welcome. You're both straight. No, just one of them. But, you know, it's early. Who? <laughs> Gay by Labor Day. That's what I said. <laughs> All right, let's get this show started. Who's okay. our first performer? We do. We have, please, lean forward and send a lot of love up to Reverend Pat Baumgartner, Senior Pastor of the Metropolitan Community Church of New York, the spiritual home of New York City's LGBTQI community and the Executive Director of the Global Justice Institute. Please make some noise for your favorite Reverend, Reverend Pat Baumgartner. I want to thank Heritage of Pride for this opportunity this afternoon, and I also want to take a moment to honor the work of Dan Savage and Terry Miller in bringing to the forefront of this nation's attention what LGBT kids go through every single day in the places and with the people they should be the safest with. I want to pay tribute to the Imperial Court, who for over 25 years has labored to raise money so that the good work of food pantries and shelters and support systems for people living with AIDS could continue. And I want to pay tribute to all the people who've gone before us, those we've loved and lost to AIDS, and all the children loved and lost to bullying and suicide, the tragedy of which inspired this year's Heritage of Pride theme, Proud and Powerful. Though that theme is built on tragedy, on what appeared to be a sudden and stunning loss of young life in rapid succession, from Billy Lucas found hanging from the rafters of a barn to Seth Walsh found hanging from a backyard tree, the truth has been for a long, long time that LGBT youth engage in suicidal attempts and at a rate three or four times higher than their heterosexual peers for all the reasons that you and I know too well. At Sylvia's Place, MCC's shelter for homeless queer youth, every day, every night, we see the kids whose parents and guardians threw them away to the streets simply because of who they are. But this is also true. One of those kids named Marcus got back into school and is studying to become a commodities trader of all things and has passed his series three test. And though he lives in a shelter housed in the first floor of a church on West 36th Street, he has become, against all odds, a sign of hope and promise for the future. This is also true, that a girl named Epiphany made it up and out of that same first floor shelter and, start and studied veterinary medicine. And a little boy named Scott got back into high school and Jerome became a math tutor. It does not matter where you're coming from. It matters where you're going. And these kids are going to live their lives in ways that make the world a better place for all of us, proudly and powerfully. And that same sort of groundswell movement of proud and powerful energy is happening around the globe. In Malaysia, a group of young Christian and Muslim gay men together made a video this year coming out and giving other young people their hope for their futures as out and proud human beings. In Pakistan, three lesbians from the outskirts of Lahore went to school despite all the familial opposition around them and got job training and will find work and plan to rent space with their earnings so that other lesbians like them can find the courage to be freely and proudly who they are. In Uganda, a hospitality center, Safe Space, has opened in the wake of the David Cato murder so that people like you and me can have one place to relax and for a moment at least breathe freely. We are, everywhere you look, no matter the adversities or challenges, rising up and breaking through and becoming a proud and powerful people who refuse to back away from our right to be treated as full and human beings. We will not back down in Pakistan, and 
and we will not back down in Park Slope. We will not back down until every code criminalizing our lives has been wiped from the books from Utah to Uganda. And yesterday we took a mighty step forward on that front when activists from around the globe succeeded in the effort to pass the first United Nations Human Rights Council resolution on sexual orientation and gender identity, which means, which means when all those member nations decide to monitor and work on human rights, they're going to have to include people like you and me too. And this I know, whether next Monday or not, legislators in this state are going to come to terms with marriage equality for all of our citizens, or else pay the price of their bigotry. We are not backing down from Malaysia to Manhattan. We will not back down, be true to the legacy of Stonewall and all those who have gone before us. Never give up, no matter how big or globally expansive the obstacle. Act up, speak up, live proud and powerful lives until the day when the truth that queer people are God's people prevails not only across this land, but around the world. I'm telling you today, that day is closer than you think. Amen. Reverend Pat Bumgarner. Inspirational. This is such a big deal for me. I've wanted to do this ever since I started following and tweeting him. I'm going to intro one of your co-hosts, the other one. You know, the one that's better than me. Anyways, a little bitter. Here he is, Ross Matthews, a Jenny Craig spokesperson. He got his start on The Tonight Show nearly 10 years ago. In addition to that show, you can see him as a weekly regular and guest host on E! Chelsea Lately. Please welcome the one, the only, the cutest little gay boy. This